Man, Rock Band Racing. From the inside, that is going to be Lauderdale showing speed. Further out, there goes Spedicoli on the move, along with Jamma Dillon, three wide to the far outside. Up the rail comes Regal, Speaker, and then drifting at the back, Lauderdale has dropped back with the See the King. They race around the turn and head towards the backside. With the lead, it's Jamma Dillon, Alice Beckman trying to steal it on the front end. In pursuit second is going to be Spedicoli with Regal, Speaker, sitting in third. Then a gap of two and a half back to See the King and Lauderdale. Quarter mile one in 25 and three a comfortable pace out here and the battle for the lead has Spedicoli now taken over Mike Allen on the outside trying to shake loose from the challenges of Gemma Dillon and Regal Speaker back there towards the rail the three lengths back to see the king and then comes Lauderdale they head to the half mile and it is now Gemma Dillon retaking the lead from Spedicoli who's hanging tough between horses they went the half mile a quicker pace 49 and two in that second quarter and and then we come up on the outside to Regal Speaker third, see the king, and at the back is going to be Lauderdale. They race around the turn, and Jamma Dillon now retakes the lead, getting away by a length. Regal Speaker stalking from second. Up on the outside third comes see the king. Spedicoli has dropped back with... Uh, the trailers. They head for home. It's still Jamma Dillon with the lead. Regal Speaker on the outside. All out trying to get to the leader. Back racing in third is See the King. In deep stretch, Regal Speaker on the outside now starting an inch away. Back second is Jamma Dillon. Far outside, See the King making a late bid. going to get up for second, but nobody's getting to Regal Speaker. Getting the win over See the King and Jamma Dillon. Back in fourth was Lauderdale. And they're off and racing. Right to the lead goes Hope She Comes, Aaron Walker, the queen of speed out there to tackle the early lead, quickly joined by She'd Rather Dance, who moves her on the inside and takes over. Into third, that is Anna L. Then between horses, Orphan Exchange with Air One on the outside, the distant trailer is runneth over. They're chasing She'd Rather Dance out there. Rosario Montanez with the advantage. Coming again is Hope She Comes, right alongside in second. Up into third, that is Orphan Exchange. Then towards the rail, comes Anna L. Outside is Air One, and still at the back is Runneth Over. They're chasing She'd Rather Dance. Out there with the lead, just a length better than the rest. Here comes Anna L. Up on the outside, coming after the leader. Back between horses, Hope She Comes. And racing very wide on the far outside is Air One. They head for home, and on the inside, it's still She'd Rather Dance. Anna L. Right alongside, coming up after the leader. On the far outside, Air One is closing quickly. Here comes Air one after Anna L. It's going to be one of these two. Air one up in time with Jose. Back in second with Anna L finishing third. She'd rather dance and hope she comes. Rounds off the super. They're all in line. Two-year-olds up and racing at Presque Isle Downs. From the inside, it's going to be She's Fire breaking on top for that lead. Right behind that one comes Little Music up into second. Then the favorite is on the move, Foxy Cleopatra third. Right behind that one comes Spending Cuts. Then a gap of another four or five lengths back to the rest. Mashka, Two-Hearted, and at the back, the trailer is Equanimous. They're chasing She's Fire. Adil Ayala out there with the lead on the inside. The favorite, Foxy Cleopatra, right alongside in third is Little Music. And behind them, racing in the fifth position, is going to be a run down the center of the track from spending cuts. Right now, the one to catch is She's Fire. She's got it. Here comes Foxy Cleopatra with his sights set on the leader. She's coming after him. Foxy Cleopatra will get there in plenty of time. Going to win by a good length over She's Fire. Back in third was Two Hearted. Rounding off the super. Equanimous come from way back. The winning time was 51-3. and three. They went the quarter at 22-4. and four, Half mile, 45-3. and three. There in the gate. And they're off. Right on top goes Nathaniel's Hope showing speed from the inside. Freddy's music is on the move. Behind that one comes Venomous. And up into fourth is Funny Man, the favorite. Joining him further out is going to be Magic Wizard. And the early trailer moving up the rail is going to be Nathaniel's Hope.
They go the quarter mile here as they approach it, chasing Vanamos. Hellas Beckman with the lead alongside. Dude with the diamond is right there. They went the quarter in 22, and 23 rather, in three fifth seconds. On the far outside, moving up into fourth is Blue Cosmo. Freddie Music getting a ground-saving trip towards the inside. Drops back to be fourth. Then on the outside comes Nathaniel's Hope along with the favorite funny man now moving three wide. Up the rail is Magic Wizard. They're chasing Vanamos, who's got the lead by a long nose over Dude with the Diamond. Circling up on the outside, Blue Cosmos in the thick of things. Then towards the inside comes Freddy's Music racing in fourth. Alongside comes Nathaniel's Hope from the back of the pack, Magic Wizard, and still nothing from Funny Man. Outside now, Blue Cosmo, Gary Wales takes off on a short lead. Right behind that one, moving nicely is Nathaniel's Hope up and after the leader, three wide. Also between horses, Blue Cosmo is there. Down along the inside, looking for racing room is going to be Freddy's Music. And as they turn for home. Outside is Nathaniel's Hope getting the lead and starting to inch away. On the outside comes Magic Wizard. Freddy's Music on the far outside also closing late. Here comes Magic Wizard after Nathaniel's Hope. One of these two with a late bid from Freddy's Music in deep stretch. It's going to be Magic Wizard up in time to defeat Daniel's Hope. Back in third was Freddy's Music rounding off the super blue Cosmo. Unofficial winning time, 139 and two fifth seconds. They're all in line, and they're off and racing in the fifth. From the inside, Creative Choice shows early speed. Up on the outside, here comes Rowdy Jess up the rail. That is going to be live for the song with Farm Strong fourth up between horses. Over towards the inside, racing in fifth is Battle Creek. Just outside of that one, looking to move up is Strasburg. Behind them, good time, Artie. Ground-saving trip on the inside for Clemson Tiger. Moves up a couple notches. But right now, on the lead and opening up by four and a half lengths is Creative Choice. Mike Allen does the quarter in 24 and one-fifth seconds. A quick pace out here would live for the song. Stocking from second, back in third comes Farmstrong. Strasburg is sitting fourth on the far outside. Then we drop back another length to Battle Creek, followed by Rowdy Jess. On the way comes uh, Clemson Tiger looking for room up the inside. He's got one horse beat, and that is good time. Artie, the closer at the back. Around the turn they go, and it's still creative choice. Mike Allen with the lead, but it's down to about two and a half lengths with Live for the Song. And Ronald Allen Jr. trying to reel that one in. Now coming nicely, Batty, Battle Creek and Willie Martinez full of run up the inside. There on the outside, Farm Strong is also in with a chance. Creative choice still with that lead. He went the quarter in 24 and 1, the half in 48 and 1 fifth second. And companies are coming after a creative choice. Live for the song comes off the rail and in the two path, about to take the lead. Down the center, perfect trip for Clemson Tiger. He looms large down the center and towards the inside. Battle Creek in fourth, closing the gap. It's creative choice and live for the song. Live for the song on the outside. Takes a short lead at 5 to 1. Here comes Clemson Tiger, but he'll be second best. It's live for the song, getting the win over Clemson Tiger, holding on for third with Creative Choice, and Battle Creek comes up to round off the Superfecta. The winning time was 142. And they're off and racing in the sixth at Presque Isle Downs. Side of the track, it is going to be Queen Wiggy who breaks on top of the lead, quickly joined down the center by Triple R Rated. We drop back two more to Cinco de Mandy, sitting in third. Up on the outside comes Mulise, then towards the inside, that is Etta Place. Two more back to the trailers, Breezy Connection and Baby Dragon. As they make their way to the turn, down on the inside, Triple R Rated takes a short lead. Right there on the outside is the favorite Queen Wiggy. As those two are stride for stride, the quarter went in 22 flat, gaining on the far outside from third. Here comes a bid from Breezy Connection. Adil yellow has got that one full of run and coming after the top pair. Right behind them is going to be Molise to the inside of Etta Place. They dash for home and a short lead in the center of the track for Queen Wiggy. Breezy Connection now coming up alongside and taking the lead. Sneaking up the rail. Molise's in with a chance. And on the far outside, here comes Baby Dragon breathing fire late. But right now, Breezy Connection's got the lead and Adil Ayala is going to go to the winner's circle. Holding on for second is Molise. Back in third was Baby Dragon. Long ways back and forth to Etta Place to round off the Super. Winning time, 103 and 4 fifths seconds. And away they go. 
Center of the track, get even, breaks on top. Far outside comes Rumble Waffle Toes in the second. Down along the rail, Template is there. Between horses on the move is Sun Daddy. Then comes Flight to Paradise. Moving on the far outside with the group is going to be Van. And then towards the back of the pack, down along the inside is Extra Sexy Big Daddy. Passed now by Flight to Paradise. Another two back to the trailer, and that's going to be Pike Place. They round the turn and head towards the backside. Quarter one in 24 and three-fifth seconds. A quick pace out here and it is get even mike allen holding the advantage by about two lengths over template brumba waffle tolls in position third back in fourth comes van then sitting in the fifth position underway is sun daddy followed by flight to paradise and then right behind that one comes extra sexy big daddy's got a lot to do and pike place is the trailer get even holds the lead but it's shrinking here comes template down on the inside moving to take third sitting fourth on the outside brumbo waffle toes and behind them here comes sun daddy has asked for a bit more and another two lengths back to extra sexy big daddy who's begun to move up with the pack at the back there is Pike Place. It's still get even holding the lead on the far outside. Brumba Waffle Tolls trying to upset the field with Gadiel Martinez. Right behind them racing in third now is going to be Template on the move. And down the center of the track here comes a late bid from Flight to Paradise. Looking for him up the rail is going to be Sun Daddy. Sun Daddy coming the best of the bunch. Get even trying to hang on right behind him. Here comes Extra Sexy Big Daddy. Sun Daddy or Extra Sexy Big Daddy. They'll those two hit the wire together and a photo finish. Either Sun Daddy or Extra Sexy Big Daddy. It's tight for the rest. They're all in line. And they're off. Breaking on top of the lead on the outside. There goes Grave Danger and Bialy Stock. Up the rail goes Dad's Little Spark. On the far outside, that is Mocha Monster. As they cruise into that turn, Dad's Little Spark, inside advantage, and Getty El Martinez take off on the lead. Grave Danger stalks the pace from second. Then up on the outside in third comes Mocha Monster. All the way through on the inside, now Reckless Affair moves from fourth and takes third and is headed towards the top pair. Another link back on the far outside comes Bialy Stock. He's joined and passed up the inside by Ruby Red. Also looking for racing room between horses comes Shaken and Shimmy. The uh, trailer is another three lengths back, and that's flat busted. Onwards to the backside. After a quarter mile of 25 and one-fifth second, they approach the half mile, all chasing Dad's little spark. The half went in 49 and two-fifth seconds. Racing in third, here comes Reckless Affair, trying to gain on the front runner. Then on the far outside, looking to move up, here comes Grave Danger up with the group, and dropping back down towards the inside now to be fourth is going to be Ruby Road, and Bialystok now coming from the back of the pack as well. Short lead between horses for Reckless Affair right now. That's the one to catch on the far outside. Grave Danger and Martino Rojas now coming after the leaders trying to dig in on the inside. Dad's little spark hanging tough. Right behind them comes a run from Ruby Road. On the outside there goes Grave Danger. Martino Rojas takes off on the lead and starts to inch away to victory at odds of three to one. The battle for second. Reckless Affair hangs on. Back in third on the inside dad's little spark or ruby road there on the outside unofficial winning time was 139 and 4